Calamari, salutations everyone, Squid here, well rested from my last battle and giving you another weekly draft league content and for this one it's the SRL season 3 and we're facing off against my good friend, a European friend, Lucas, it's nice to have someone to schedule from Europe, it's so much easier to do it, oh my god, I hate time zones. Um, so, what's his team? Flapple G-Max, Mew, Gengar, Rotom Wash, Copper, Copper Aja, Hitmontop, Talonflame, Alchemy, Tar Taurus, Duck Trio from Alola, Graplocked, and Morgram. So, um, Lucas is actually a replacement co coach for Darkspark, who was the semi-finalist last season. Uh, he had to drop because of personal reasons and Lucas took over his team and he basically threw the, all of the team off uh, and replaced it with these 12 months that uh, I listed and gotta say it's the first time I'm facing a Mew in Draft League and Mew is one of the scariest months on in Draft League. J because of the reason that uh, you never know what we what it will run uh, and it's probably too late when you figure out what it is running so <laughs> pretty scary man not gonna lie uh, also the flapple G max can be kind of problematic but I think I have a good answer for it so I'm not as worried and uh, other than that copper Aja is really the only thing stopping me from trick room from setting up Trick Room. So I have Hatterin here once again rocking the Babiri Berry because uh, Copperaja is a scary beast. Um, almost max special attack, some speed creep to outspeed and no speed investment Copperaja because I'm honestly thinking it will be. He was Iron Ball last week. I don't know if he'll make the. Um, the same uh, thing this week, but uh, if he does, I, I'm expecting it. And all max HP because I want to survive as many hits as possible. And we have Trick Room and enough coverage to basically hit all of his team. Nothing wants to take a uh, the combination of Dazzling Gleam and Expanding Force. And for the Steel Tie, for the Copper Aja, we have Mystical Fire to deal with that. Hopefully we are faster than the Copperaja, if we aren't... <laughs> Let's just not think about it. Next we have the Flapple answer, which is Mawal rocking the Intimidate once again. Because of its phenomenal typing, Mawal resists one stab and is immune to the other of uh, Flapple. So he has to run coverage to, to get through this. I have Rocky Helmet because I want to get rid of the priority on Talaflame in case of, in case he has it, and uh, uh, either way, Talonflame can go for um, a, fl a flame attack, a fire attack, and uh, Mawal won't like it, but um, Talonflame won't be at full. And I can later Oko it with the Urshifu neck. Uh, as a revenge killer, so I'm not that worried about. I'm a little bit worried about the Talon Flame, but I'm not that worried about the Flapple because I have many ways to deal with it. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if he didn't bring the the Flapple actually. So we have uh, max HP and max defense, uh, rocking that intimidate will stealth rock, ice punch to hit the Flapple, knock off to. Uh, knock off items and baton pass for that slow momentum that I used in the first week Next we have the Urshifu The Urshifu is U-turn, close combat, wicked blow and iron head, nothing too fancy Rocking that choice scarf because I can outspeed uh, all of his team uh, uh, If he has no scarf mons And uh, other than the hitmon top Nothing really wants to take a wicked blow to the face, so there's that. And also it's a pretty nice um, spread with max attack adamant, which allows me to uh, one hit KO all Mews that are not uh, max HP, max defense, so there's that. 
Next we have the Lantern, Lantern making the debut on this season and the reason Lantern is here is to uh, stop the momentum from the um, Rotom which can be quite uh, painful to deal with. It's max special defense uh, to deal with the Rotom and some spread and some sponge some attacks of the Gengar also. Uh, rocking that lefties, Volt Switch, Thunder Wave is pretty good to slow things like the Gengar or something like that. Uh, protect and Ice Beam. Protect mainly to scout out uh, if some of his mons are choice locked or not. Ice Beam to hit uh, mainly the, the Flapple that wants to come in on it. The Scyther is... Um, we saw Defensive Scyther last week and now we will see Offensive Scyther with um, Jolly, Max Attack, Max Speed, uh, no fancy spreads this, uh, this week, Life Orb to get maximum damage output without locking us into a move, U-Turn, Dual Wing Beat, um, Dual Wing Beat has a chance to Oko uh, Flapple through its G-Max. Uh, if he hasn't set up a Reflect, which he might bring with the Margram, actually. And I have Brick Break to get rid of said um, screens. Yeah. And then, last but not least, we have the um, DD. I need the uh, Aromatherapy because of the. Um, what's it called? Uh, the Flame Body ability on the Talon Flame. Uh, so if I get burned with the Urshifu, I, I can later get rid of, the, of it by the, via the Aromatherapy. We have Trick, uh, and we have Baton Pass, and Expanding Forces on only attacking move. And what will we trick? We will trick a Lagging Tail. So this is a set. Um, <laughs> Lagging Tail serves two purposes. Mew can't set up on my face, and allows us to uh, slow button pass uh, the indeed the out to preserve the HP of uh, more uh, threatening mons to his team. So this is basically the team. Uh, nicknames for this week are uh, body parts. So we have uh, head here, mouth, arms, body, wings, I didn't say it was human body parts, and legs. So we will now connect with Coach Lucas, who was very kind to, to us this week uh, because he helped us get our mons this week. Uh, so shoutouts to him for being a sportsman and we will be right back. Alright guys, we are connected with Lucas. Ah, he brought the alchemy. I hope it's not uh, some... Some cheeky stalling set, which he, which it probably is because he likes stalling. Uh, the Gengar is here, of course. Um, Copper Raja 2. Uh, no screens. Uh, Rotom can actually set them out too, so I wouldn't uh, put it pa past that for him to have screens. Um, he has no ground type. I think I'll go Lantern first and uh, Volt Switch out. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. Um. What if he goes? Uh. What if he goes straight into all creamy and starts setting up? What's my answer to that? None. <laughs> I'm scared of Alchemy. I'm really scared of Alchemy. <laughs> Uh, good luck have fun to Lucas uh, and we'll see how this one goes. Um, let's see if we got the lead correctly. Okay, there's a the Rotom. Okay, we got the lead correctly, I think. What's the worst thing this thing uh, can do to me? Nothing, actually. I'm thinking he will switch out. Otherwise, he will toxic. He will either switch out or toxic. So, I mean, toxic's not ideal on Lantern, but it could work. Alchemy. Okay, nice, 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 nice. 
Wait, he has no item on top. I just realized that. Um, I think I want to go Scyther, actually. Yeah. Scyther seems okay. Um, he has no regenerative item. What resists the wall wing beat on his team? Uh, Rotom and Copperaja. I think I'm free to dual wing beat. I don't want these things setting up on me. Okay, he stayed in. That's not good. Okay, there's a life orb recoil. Recover. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, he recovered less HP than we dealt him, so we can still do this. Yeah. Still on it. He will switch out, of course, as expected. Okay, here comes the, uh, the Rotom. But he takes a little bit of chip. There's... That's more than a little bit. Oh my god. Uh, I'm actually kind of fearing the scarf. Wait. Isn't Rotom an electric attack? Electric user. Okay. Um, I'm actually... Fearing the scarf a little bit, so I'll switch out uh, into the lantern. Trick. Okay. Not ideal. Not gonna lie. At least we have scarf lantern. So that's something. No? Um. He has Trick, uh, so Hydro Pump, Volt Switch, and Thunderbolt. Nope, you can't run out. There we go. Okay. Um, so he has no Scarf now. Which means I'm free to U-turn. Right? Right. Or... Or, maybe, I can knock off. Knock off might actually be the better play. Here. Uh, because I think knock off always kills. And if he goes into a resisted uh, hit... Yeah, he sacks the Rotom. Good. Good. We are out of Rotom. Nice, 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 nice. Mm, so now, if I were him, I would go Gengar. Or some form of hazard set setting. Um, he'll probably go Copperaja. Copperaja would be the play because he sets up hazards. And I can't really switch in, uh, stay in on the um, Copperaja. Can I? Okay. Clown Town. What's that? There's the Gengar. Okay, I was kind of expecting it, this. So what I will do is... So since Rotom isn't here, I can actually go Lantern. Because uh, the, pro the um, value of Lantern goes down uh, if the Rotom is dealt with. Sludge Wave. Okay, that's the play I would make, actually. Um, he's, he probably isn't choice locked. So, I mean, or am I free to paralyze something? Paralyze? I kind of want to paralyze something, but I'll make the safe play for now. Which is to just chip the Gengar. Yeah, he's locked. Oh, 
Ok. Mm. So now... Let's find out if he's locked. Because if he's not... If he's not, he has to switch moves. Um, but what I will do for now is... I want to keep momentum in order for that Alcremy to not recover. Or do I want to knock off something? Knock off will actually do nothing to Alcremy. So, um, how good are rocks? Not that good, but somewhat good. Okay, he's not choice locked. But... Oof! That dealt way too much. But at least the Gengar's down. So, we have that. Mm. Let's see. Focus Ash. Ooh. Nice thing I didn't go Urshifu then. Um, Urshifu is now looking kinda scary to him. Not gonna lie. Okay. Um, we'll... We'll knock off. Oh, yeah, that's right. We won't knock off then. Uh, we'll go Baton Pass to scout out Dragon Dance. Oh, -ho -ho! this is the set I faced when um, in practice. So this is what I brought um, in DD4 with the lagging tail. So we'll do this. And if he's dragon dancing, he's not max defense, so I can later oko it with the Urshifu. I don't think he okos me here, so I will trick him the lagging tail. He dragon dances again. Great. He had Culber, as expected. Uh, now we'll... Baton pass out. Okay, into the... The Mawal. Because he doesn't have Talon Flames, so I don't need the Rocky Helmet as much. And he stays at minus at plus one this way. Close combat. Okay, good, good. Uh, from the range that Alcremy is at, I'd guess uh, that um, it's a two, two hit KO by the Urshifu. So what I will do is I will go Urshifu and I will lock myself into Wicked Blow. There's the Wicked Blow, this should kill. There it is. That's the Mew down. Great. Oh my god. I didn't... I don't believe lag, Lagging Tail actually worked. Oh my god. <laughs> um, yeah, he goes into all creamy. He can recover now. So what I will do is I'll go into I'm going to Hatterin I won't set up to Trick Room at least yet okay um If I had to guess, he'll go Copper Raja. So since he'll go Copper Raja... Do I make the big boy play in Mystical Fire? 
Um, I think I will. This will this will lower the um, the special attack uh, stat of Alcrimi if he stayed in. So now we get uh, Copperage on the switching, which is really nice. He is definitely a salt fest. Oh my god, he's a salt fested. He's so a salt fested. Um, do I switch in on this? No. I'll just um, Dynamax and Max Flare. Yeah. This will actually tell us if he's faster than us or not. I'm hoping he's slower. And uh, I do this because if he kind of forgot that Heavy Slam doesn't work on G-Maxes, that's also great. But I'm thinking, uh, for, from the caliber of player he is, I wouldn't think he... He forgot that. Oh, he's faster. He have it slammed! Yes! Oh my god, no, Lucas. No, that was not the play. At all. Um... Sure, let's go for another Max Flare. Because we have Babiri Berry, even if he has another... Uh, Attack. Okay, he doesn't. Oh, I can set up Trick Room then. Nice, 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 nice. So we have the Alcrimi left and the uh, Flapple. Uh, this is the third turn of Gigantamax, so I'll set up the terrain now. Because. Uh, I can potentially hit it with uh, expanding forces then. Uh, Max Mind Storm to set up the terrain. He has nothing that um, resists the terrain. Ooh, that's a good play. That's actually a great play. But I'm still dealing a lot of damage. So. Um, what do I do? I like spending force to gauge the damage from it. Recover. Let's see. So he's there. How much does the expanding force do? Uh, it's around the same, actually. Um, he'll re recover, won't he? He has to recover. I'll make the big boy play. Oh, he mystical fires. Oh, I didn't expect that at all. Okay. Um I'll just iron head. The Al creamy is so much more painful to deal with than the flapple, so let's just iron head this thing. Oh, he has Babiri! Does he live? He lives! Oh, God! Mm. That didn't go as planned at all! Oh my God, he recovered so much HP! Oof. Um, I can do a wing beat here. I think it kills, from what I remember. Um, yeah, we can do a wing bit, and hope it doesn't miss. It doesn't. Does it kill? Yes. Whew. Great. Um, now we have to just not miss against the flapple 
U turn does kind of half damage, if I recall correctly. He's calking something, I think. Um, so, let's just pray this doesn't miss. Because if it does, let's just not think about it. Please hit, please hit. If he's Koba, he also survives. But if he's Koba, that means he isn't boosting its attack. Okay, so... It kills! Yes! Yes! So many animations, got. So we win! Yes! 4-0 victory against Lucas. GG's to you, man. Uh, once again, thank you very much for helping me get the mons for this week's battle. Um, it was a pretty good one. Um, yeah, so we're still undefeated in this season of the SRL, which is really good. Guys, so... Um, yeah, we'll catch you guys next week. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And Squid, jetting out.